morning! So I'm Aline and I'm here again to share with you my reflection for the question posted by the Daily Calm. And today's question is, what subtle shifts have you noticed since you started meditation? So first, what is meditation for me? Because I don't know the formal definition of meditation. It's just based on experience. I attended a meditation class in Brahma Kumaris two years ago. And there, um, what they taught us is to focus on the third eye or focus on an image with a representation of the third eye and then just stare at it. Try to empty your mind. Don't entertain thoughts and just stare at that image. So, yeah, but the it doesn't work so well for me. And then, the next um, encounter I had with meditation is Vishen Lakhiani's Six-Phase Meditation. I came across it from my YouTube feed and he was speaking at Google headquarters. He was talking about the six phase meditation on how to hack your mind, becoming unfitable. You can search it. Um, Google Vision HQ. Um, in the 22nd minute, that's where the meditation starts. But he already introduced the concepts and what they're about to do for in the first few minutes of the video. So that was a more practical way for me to meditate. I was I will just play that video again and again in YouTube. And uh, fast forward to the 22nd minute and then I would listen to him. I'll close my eyes and listen to his instructions. So I right now I still prefer guided meditation. And then um, somehow I stopped doing that because I went into a training program with Dan Lok and Dan Lok also had a meditation uh, video as well and he encouraged us to to listen to that instead so that's what I did also and then after the program maybe four months after I started to see my feed in my feed um, uh, sponsored ads from the daily calm and just one day during the pandemic I tried it and um, yeah I tried it for seven days and I subscribed and that's what I've been listening to to guide me in my meditation so right now I do meditation from the daily calm it's a guided meditation it's more on focusing on your breath uh, so inhale exhale closing your eyes finding comfortable seat but what I learned recently while having conversations with other people who also started their meditation practice is meditation is a journey. It will, it can be trying to empty your mind, but it's not the only type of meditation. Um, for me right now, it's more on paying attention to my thoughts. I try to focus on my breath. Um, so I can clear my mind but sometimes there are thoughts that come up while I'm meditating and it's just a distraction so just I just tell myself okay this is a thought that entered my mind I lost focus I can let it go and go back to the breath so that's how meditation is for me right now and sometimes there are days where I just respect or follow where my thoughts lead so it's a surprise what will my thoughts uh, what will come up for me today and i'll just follow so yeah meditation can be in different forms but it's generally just taking some moments of pause to see check in with yourself how are you feeling what is going on inside what are you thinking about trying to 
empty it by um, letting go of thoughts. You are not your thoughts. You are just the thinker of the thoughts. But your thoughts are different from who you are. It's something that was a little bit difficult to digest. But as I try to learn more about meditation, it's becoming clearer and clearer to me. So if that's something that sparks your interest, try to learn more about it. That you are not your thoughts. And so, the benefits of meditation for me has been having that moments of awareness. Instead of, like what I mentioned in the last few videos, instead of being an autopilot, I am now able to talk to myself. Like, so, for example, last, yesterday, some uh, news was I was given some news that uh, somehow made me feel worried but I had some tasks to do and a class to attend after the number of tasks that I had to complete so I had to focus on what's at hand so I had the conversation with myself is this something that you can control and since it's not then I cannot do anything about it but to pray and hope for the best. So I can continue with my work. But somehow, the thoughts just leap back there. And I just have to, okay, yeah, I know you have worries. I know that it's bothering you right now. We can do that later. Let's focus on the task at hand. And later, let's talk to someone about it. So that's a subtle shift in my behavior, in the way I think and how I converse with myself. And somehow also, starting the day with meditation, prayer, exercise, the day just flows by more, just flows by better. There's a flow to the day. I am more productive. I feel like I am more in control of my day instead of before i feel lost i feel like there's a lot of things i need to do and i feel overwhelmed and the day passes and i'm not able to do anything at all so yeah i think meditation has helped me feel like i am in control because my thoughts or i am able to monitor and be aware of the thoughts um that's going through my head and the thoughts that I will entertain. Yeah, so I am here to invite you to try out, um, try meditation for yourself. There are a lot of resources in YouTube that you can um, check out. I would recommend Vishian Lakhiani's Six Phase Meditation. He's been a meditation teacher for a long, long time now. And he's actually very... Uh, innovative he finds fine tunes and tweaks his techniques as he sees how to improve it from the feedback of his students so that could be a good starting point if you are uh, thinking of meditation i got into meditation because of the influence of miss kat arambolo david Meltzer, and deepak chopra and miss ggtb they've been uh, I, last year, I or two years ago, I was more mindful about the social media content that I consume. So I unfollowed people who might be a bit negative, and I added new people who I find inspiration from, who motivates me. So these people were practicing meditation. That's why I got curious. I feel like they are successful they are inspirational for me so when they de did that and i keep on um hearing about meditation so that prompted my my curiosity and i just followed my curiosity and luckily there was a free class in makati so i went there and that started the meditation journey for me yeah so this is just an invitation for you um to be curious and try meditation for yourself. See where it leads you. Because for me, it has been very beneficial. So that's it for me today, guys. 
Thank you for watching this video. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. And I would like to ask you the same thing if you're already meditating. How, what are the subtle shifts in behavior that you found you're in yourself because of um, since you started meditation? That's it for me today. See you again tomorrow. Bye.